guys welcome back to my new channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a review on the um six of crows duology so if you watch my shadow and burn trilogy review you would know that i started reading these like basically while i was doing that review but i finished them now so let's just get on to the video okay, so first i'm going to talk about the plot of this book so this was out of the two probably my favorite one i always prefer the first books in the series just because you're meeting the characters and you're getting to know the backstories a little bit and it just kind of it's like the starting point and i always love that so basically this book is about well it's got more than like six characters in but basically at the start it's about these three people called kaz jesper and Inej. Inej, and they basically um do jobs and um try and get money so they live in Ketterdam, which is in the Gush world and um it's a bit more of a rough place if that's what you like to call it um i haven't read this fucking ages so again see i'm not i'm not very good at book reviews but yeah um so kaz brecker he's like the main guy they call him Dayans because there's no job too hard for him basically he's only like 16 17 but he's like the best guy in the club or whatever um his backstory um is probably i think his backstory is the first to be told and it's kind of just like weaved into the story that's why i think i do prefer these books over the shadow and bone just because the way everything's kind of weaved in slowly and it's more like even though it's weaved in slowly it's definitely a much faster paced book like i read it in like three days i think um but yeah kaz brecker um his backstory is very sad um and it's just really heartbreaking again with a nice story Jespers isn't really mentioned too much in the first book, um, which is okay. I mean, we're only just getting to know the characters, so you don't want to rush into things. But for at the end of like the middle, well, the side of the book, we meet Nina. Um, Nina, oh, I forgot her second name. Nina Dobrik. <laughs> no, that's not a name. Sorry, <laughs> I'm thinking of Nina from Vampire Diaries. Just for No, Nina Zenik, that's her name. <laughs> Sorry. Nina Zenik, and we also meet um, Wylan and Kuei Yobo. I did look at the names. Oh, it's not in here. Um, and then we also meet um, Matthias. Um, so they're all very very different characters which i love like they all have such different personality traits and stories and like how they do things and they still work together really well um so basically their whole so kaz Brecker gets kidnapped basically and they ask him to go on a heist to the ice cart to destroy the jura parem which is a drug used to enhance squish powers but it also eventually kills them because it's very addictive um so kaz Brecker, he takes an edge and jasper with him and nina and they all go to the ice cart to try and find jordan Perrin. and it's very um suspenseful like it's really good i love the whole plot of it like there's no messing about with it it's just straight into it and yeah i really like this book there's a crow on the front because they're called the crows kaz Brecker walks around with a cane and on top of the cane is a crow um but yeah just ugh, i love this book so much i'm just gonna read the blurb yeah so an edge is known as the wraith which is like really speedy and fast because basically nobody can hear her except kaz Brecker. like when she's walking behind people you can't hear her i also watched the shadow and bone show on netflix loved it the only thing i will say i didn't expect mal to look like that i thought mal 
if you if you've ever watched Miraculous, Adrian from Miraculous, that's how I imagine Mal for some reason. And I imagine Gemi with brown hair. I know she's got red hair in the book, but I just couldn't imagine her with red hair. Um and David, I imagined him as really old. <laughs> like I just even though it's got character descriptions, I always kinda make up my own character in my head that fits them. But yeah, in the Shadow and Bone trilogy, in the Shadow and Bone series, I don't even think we saw like Tori and Tamari either. We just saw like the Darkling, Mal, Alina, Kaz, and Edge, all them. But even though the plot is completely different to the books, I actually really enjoyed it. And it was cool how they merged them together. Um, so this book, this book is basically like what happens after the heist. So after the heist, um, something bad happens. Um, and they're kind of just trying to escape that and like go with that. So this book is a lot more spontaneous. There isn't like a set plan. It's just very like make a plan, go with it. If it goes wrong, do another plan. Um, so I didn't really enjoy this book. The ending, I was crying at it. Like Kaz and Inez. It made me real upset. Like real upset. Happy but upset. And yeah, this book... Um, I'm just trying to read it because I can't really remember. There was so much happening, but there was, um, I'll tell you what happened. Wylan got his first POV, so basically in the book, they have character POVs. So like this one is Jespers. Um, in the first book we didn't have Wylan's, um, but in this book we do have Wylan's, which is really good because we get to see his backstory. Um, told from his perspective because in like even though it's set like say Kaz it's his perspective um it's still told from third person so it's not like I went to the shop it's like Kaz went to the shop do you know what I mean so when they're talking about Kaz they still talk about Nez and all them and the, like what's going on but you get more of like their story a little bit um which is nice as well we get Wylan's story and just from Marilyn I don't all oh, right this is going to be a spoiler now so skip skip it so um Jesper and Wylan I do really ship them together I just feel like it works like Jesper's like mischievous one like the one who's a bit more naughty but Wylan's like the good one that's a bit stupid <laughs> sorry that's mean but he can't like read or write, so. But yeah, he's smart, but not like book smart, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I think they go with the really words together. Kaz and Inej, I will always ship those two. Just a beautiful match. But it's really sad because I'll tell you what happened. So basically, Kaz Brecker, if, you, you'll, if you've read the books, you'll know. He, um, his brother basically died in his arms. Um... And he felt, and he, had to, he got put, so basically, the flu was going around, or whatever, it was like tuberculosis or something, and they were by themselves, Kaz and his brother, oh, I forgot the brother's name, I forgot the brother's name, but um, then Kaz and his brother get put on this ship with loads of other dead bodies to get them put away. And Kaz is still alive, obviously, so he's screaming out for help, but he can't get out. And then he, um, no one's listening to him, so he gets off the bus, off the ship, with um, with his brother, drags his brother along with him, and he swims to shore. And basically, he hates the feeling of touch, like, he can't touch anybody now, because, like, it just makes his skin crawl, think of all them dead bodies around him. And he was only young when it happened. Um... I really, why did I forget the name of the brother? But yeah, um, that happens. So he has to wear gloves, um, so that he doesn't touch anyone because he finds it absolutely disgusting. And obviously with an edge, he can't touch her, even though he wants to. So, um, oh, also in this book, Kaz calls Jesper his brother's name and they're all like, what? Who's it? Who's that? Who's that? 
I wish I could find it, but there's so much. But yeah, it was really, it made everyone like, like what, who's this, like why, like why are you calling me this name when that's not who I am? But yeah, we, I feel like maybe, I don't know if it's just because Kaz was just really angry and he felt like he was talking to his brother or he just like had that memory. Or if Kaz sees Jesper as his brother and that's why they're such good friends. Because he sees like the same traits. Uh, but we don't really get to know much about that. But yeah, this book. Got my heart. And this book made my heart jump because it was so exciting. But yeah, these books. I definitely recommend these. Right, people have been reading these before Shadow and Bone or just not reading Shadow and Bone at all. And I think you should read Shadow and Bone. Oops. Even though Shadow and Bone isn't as good as these, um, Shadow and Bone really like tells you everything. So you know about King Nikolai and um, Lena and S Sancta Lena and the Darkling. You know all about the worlds and stuff like that. Um, it's much, much more understanding. Like You can get away with reading these without reading Shadow and Bone, but it helps so much more like it enhances the reading experience after you've read these uh before after you've read shadow and bone um but yeah i think only bad badu goes right and really changes this one like it was like a completely different author to be honest like, i didn't even i could barely recognize it but in this one you also get to know a lot more about the land so about further third further Ketadam, um, and about the, like, traditions and stuff like that. So, in here, Norvizem, Zemini, Kirch, Shuhan, like, there's a lot more mentioned in here. Um, and I just think it's so good. So, I de definitely recommend to read these books. I'm really sorry if you got spoiled. Hopefully you didn't. I'll put the time on from when I didn't spoil and when I did spoil. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend reading these books. Um, I'm currently reading King of Scars, which is the next little duology. Um, and I'm finding it quite confusing. I don't know if it's just because I'm not like, I feel like I'm not imagining it as much. Like, I can't see what's ha happening. I think I just need to um, slow down my reading pace a little bit. But yeah, I do. And I'm enjoying it so far. I'm on, like, page, like, 70 or something. No, page 80. And, yeah. So, if you want to read these books, go get them. They're very, very good. I press pass pace and they'll uh, just be a good story to read. So, yeah, my favourite character would definitely have to be I think I'm gonna say even Nina yeah ne probably Nina just because of how strong she is as a person and as a Grisha and she's just very good and I also like Jasper because he's funny um but yeah hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.